The fastest Wi-Fi meets the most reliable 5G wireless network from Xfinity. Now, switch to GigSpeed Wi-Fi and XFi Complete and get one line of unlimited wireless with nationwide 5G free for two years. The best connection at home and on the go, now together with Xfinity. So, you can stay connected and never miss a beat. Switch to Xfinity and get your free line of wireless today. Ends 1121 for new customers only with a one-year agreement. Equipment taxes and fees extra and subject to change. Limited to one wireless line. Other restrictions apply. Most reliable based on Root Metrics U.S. report. Results vary. Not an endorsement. You might like absolute silence or lo-fi beats. Maybe you stand, sit, or relocate every hour. You might want fresh coffee always within reach or a game nearby for those quick breaks. Whatever your work style, you deserve a setup that inspires. And Best Buy tech experts can help you online, in-store, or at home so you can find what's right for you. Work for you space achieved. Details at BestBuy.com. My brain is fine. I don't need to exercise it. I fancy myself to be a man's man. I know the sound of my voice causes you to gag. I thought I would never do that again in my radio career, and I just did. Here you are. The Kid Credit Morning Show with Kelly Raspberry, JC, and Big Al Mac starts now. In a way. Tuesday morning. Today is Tuesday, October 5th, 2021, and we are the Kid Craddock Morning Show. Okay, here's the deal. If yesterday wasn't your day, don't even worry about it. You got a brand new day today. Got that brand new day smell. Smell Tuesday, everybody. Tuesday's not bad. <sighs> Tuesday's not bad. We got a brand new day for you. You'll get it done today, I promise you. Here's my girl, Kelly Raspberry. My Monday was great. I spent it with my mommy. Oh, I did too. A little bit. We went to lunch. She bought my lunch, oh, as nice. parents should always do for their children. <laughs> Absolutely, they should. Did she get and you we a happy shopping. meal? No, uh. we, we shared us. We got salads. Okay, okay. And then we went shopping because you know my nephew Braden is getting married. Yes. In November, and so grandmother the bride, you know, wants of uh, the groom. Excuse me, grandmother the groom wants to look her best. So we went shopping, and we just had a lovely day together. Yes, yeah, fantastic. Awesome. Shout out to Mrs. Raspberry. Here is J.C. Chavez. Why do we have to appease the West Coast when it comes to time slots? <laughs> you know, when it comes um, to sporting stuff, sporting events are always later for the Eastern time. I hear a lot people. of people. I hear a lot of people live in that California, a eh? and for the Central people. Yeah, but we got the Central people and the East Coast people trying to appease the West Coast people. So it's, why don't we just get it for the East? East Coast people, in so the, the sporting events don't end at midnight. In the words of Tupac, the late Tupac, it's California love, JC. Man. You gotta love some California. Because that was, it's just, you try to watch a football game on Monday night, it takes forever. You and try to watch a, a, even TV shows, come on a little too late for us, and, not on the West Coast. And California knows how to party. Here is Anna. <laughs> Good morning. I'm not really sure how to phrase this, but do you guys carry on like healing remedies that you learned from like your grandparents or like your parents from, from when you were kids? Yes. Because like, okay, so yesterday... My grandma just said put Vicks on it. <laughs> right. That is, well, that is the solution to most yeah. things. Well, yesterday Ryan was cooking and he burned his hand uh, holding a hot plate and I immediately was like, oh, you need to put your hand in egg yolk. I don't know if it's like a Mexican remedy or something my mom did, but when I burned my hand as a kid, she like would crack an egg and I would just stick my hand in yep. egg yolk and it was like really soothing. And I told him to do that, and he was like, oh, why would I do that? Because <laughs> that's what we do. You <laughs> actually pronounced the word correctly. I've never pronounced yolk. Yolk. I would just say yolk. 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 It yeah. is yolk, yeah. though, right? Yolk. Y O L K, correct? It is yolk. Yolk. Yeah, I, I've never pronounced it like it, but you like pronounced right it. Yeah. Do you think yolk. maybe because the egg's cold from the refrigerator? Maybe. I guess it's burn. just like soothing. I've Grandma's heard people used, put like the, mayonnaise. Yeah. Or they'll rub, they'll rub your. Sana, sana. Colita de rana, si no sana hoy, sana pa ma. Part time, Justin. Good morning. Um, Anna, to add to that story, or not, well, about my family home rem remedies, whenever I had a bloody nose, my dad told me to stick a penny on my forehead, and that was supposed to take up all the blood to your forehead. The copper and, was? Yeah. Instead of uh, bringing all the blood down. Did it work? Well, the thing is, is that like when you do have a bloody nose, you want to hold your ne you want to hold your head up, not down. Uh -huh. That way it clots. So whenever you have a penny on your forehead, you're trying to keep it balanced on your forehead, which forces you to keep your head up. Hmm. Hmm. Which mm. is what my family did. Okay. My son is a nose bleeder. Well, really? You should try yeah. the penny check. Try the penny thing. I might, I might have to do that because he 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 gets a bloody nose like. 
I'd go to every Web couple days. I'd go to WebMD and check that out. <laughs> I need I need to see what Trey was doing about ten years ago. Is what I need to know. Speaking of, here is Trey in the control room. Oh, you think I made a guest appearance and that's where Casey came from? Because you're you interesting. Get, you get the uh, bloody nose. Uh, uh, right. I'm like, wow. I don't know, man. Like, every time you get the bloody nose, I think of Trey. I'm like, man, that's very Trey like right there. Casey is your mini me for I know, sure. I know. Uh, so speaking of children, I have a whole new problem. Uh, as I feel like I say each week, this time around it, indeed, it in, uh, entails Halloween. Yeah. Uh, my wife goes, hey, I picked the Halloween costume for his very first Halloween last year. Why don't you pick his Halloween costume this year? It's a big job. What do you think? I don't pick a Halloween costume for myself. And now I've got to pick one for the kid that also makes wife happy. It's so easy. Yeah. Well, I Babies thought, I are thought easy. dinosaur. Aww. Cute. I was like, oh, we're going dinosaur. Good one. Yeah. Anything you, you pick go. is cute. Dinosaur costumes that I wanted sold out. Now we well, got to go to the bag. What if you and Kara are the dinosaurs and he's a dinosaur egg? That's Adorable. A oh, That's a great one. I love that. Perfect. I love that. I'm going to come to you. Uh, if it's if they were going every <laughs> other year, I'm coming to you. Oh, on the, I'll start it, making the, a list. The odd years, I'll be coming to you. What about you go as the Mandalorian and he's Grogu? <gasps> also cute. Also adorable. Right? Mm. There's so many possibilities. Imagine Quaid with his cute little 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 mini uh, little ears, mm-hmm. paint him green, put his little sash on him. He's adorable. Set. I like it. I like. Can I borrow your helmet? Um, I'm mm. going to also be a Mandalorian. Oh, sure. <laughs> 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 What's going on, Big Al Mac? Well, I was watching a little bit of the TV last night with my, my fiance. Yeah, you caught yourself. I caught myself. So we're watching The Good Doctor. Which is uh, this prodig- this prodigy, right? Uh, he's got autism. His so, name is Sean. Now he's getting married on the show, right? Yes. Is he a I, I see the commercials. I don't watch the show. Yeah, I'm glad you went there, Kelly, because that's where I was about to go. Mm. Uh, Dr. Sean Murphy, the main character, uh, Freddie something. Is he a teenager on the show? Is he like no? A, no he's not. No, he's not a teenager. He's, a, he's an adult. Okay. So um, they, he's getting married, preparing for his wedding, and he is is having a tasting of different cakes. He and, doesn't care. And so sure, he's, he's like taking a big tray of cakes around to all of the fellow doctors and nurses in the hospital, asking them to, to try the cake. And my uh, fiance came to my house last night at 8 o'clock, and we're watching this. And she said, we're sitting next to each other. Goes, she goes, you know, we're going to have to do that soon. I'm like, what? And uh, she said, taste cakes. <gasps> Kelly? What? The fear of God just went over my head. Like, not, what, about, not about getting married. No, uh, no, no. Just hit you in the fa- face just, if you're getting married? Yeah, no. J- tasting cakes. Like, doing the prep stuff. The, mm. the, the stuff that you, you do. She went from, let's just go to the courthouse. <laughs> I, I That's didn't. why it doesn't matter that yeah. it's on a Wednesday, which is still absurd. Yeah. But I, I, now it's going to oh, wedding cake taste. So are you, oh. you going to bring cakes here for us to try? Oh. Like, like in the show? We'll go with you on the cake tasting. I'm sure I, Amy will not mind. <laughs> Even now, just talking about it made me. I'm like, not gonna do all the stuff, stuff. The planning, Man, the planning stuff. Now you're gonna get a wedding planner. The, uh, cake tasting. Is there a whole Maybe. lot of variety in wedding cakes? Like I feel I like yeah. it's just oh, yeah. vanilla on vanilla. Oh, oh no, they got the the strawberry glaze you could put on there, and then they got marmalade if I you want. Wedding, I thought different... wedding cake was a flavor. Yeah, I, I, yeah. it is. It's shot. It is a shot. I told um, Amy, that's my fiance. I don't remember her name. I told Amy. I saw one at Kroger the other day. I can pick one up tomorrow. Oh my God. <laughs> and but you it still can have to, they vanilla? do beautiful cakes, but it has to be the flavor. There's almond, there is red velvet, oh, there is boy. creme brulee. There's all these flavors White chocolate. you can get. Yum. We Any did, of those are fine. Pumpkin. We can, did, can I just say can I just say this? Trey, you've probably are the most recently married. Can I just say just get something? Is that satisfactory? In, oh. Don't say it in that exact yeah, no. in that exact phrase. Okay, no. but there I is a, say there's it. a you know whatever whatever works for you, honey, works for me. Oh, that's we, much you, better. Much you're better. you're much better at this than I Just am. Get and I'm gonna, whatever I'm works gonna for follow you, works. you the rest of my life. So you go ahead and take the lead right now. I don't. I don't know that I took Alan for cake tasting. I didn't go did cake tasting. Did I take tasting. Alan for cake tasting? I know we did for the dinner. Yeah. I, I absolutely did not go to But here's cake I thought, tasting. Burr. I thought I, as the girl. I, she I did. Her, I think my I wife, did. My wife went with her friends. She went with like. That's a girl. Her, you could do, You could get away with the girls doing it because there's a lot yes. of planning that unless she really wants you to be in The involved. only thing I tried out was the food. Because we went, because yeah, we, we wanted like tacos at our, we wanted like a taco bar. Look, so we went and tried food, but I didn't go for the cake. I well, already a- tasted everything at my restaurant. I'm good, uh, you know, mozzarella sticks. And um, uh, so you're catering your wedding. I, I, I don't see why not. I mean, it hasn't come up yet, but I don't see why. 
Give that girl a wedding. I don't see why lemon pepper wings would not be satisfactory. Give that, that girl a decent awesome. wedding. Bust it. So I thought my responsibilities as the groom were bachelor party and honeymoon. I thought those were the two things that I needed. And, you know. Showing up. Showing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be good. Your vows. Yeah, vows. I, uh -huh. I can do that. Your I'm, suit. Making sure I, your groomsmen have tuxedos I, or whatever you guys are going to wear. You need to be there for the photos. I, I, yes. I already asked Blake to officiate, so there's that. Yeah. I, I've done, I've probably at this point gone over and beyond. So you still don't have an officiant? No, not not yet. Okay. Not yet. I'll Ooh. keep you posted, though. We have uh, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine months. <laughs> They're usually, like, booked. Yeah. A year in advance. You got to get one of them. We'll be fine. Here is Anna with Celebrity Birthday. <laughs> yeah. Happy birthday, Jacob Tremblay. He was the kid in Room and Wonder. He's also Pixar's Luca. He's 16. Wow. Happy birthday. He's grown up before our eyes. Um, Jesse Eisenberg, who you know from the social network. Um, he's 38 today. Maybe he was behind Facebook Maybe, crash yesterday. Yeah. That was big time. Nikki Hilton is also 38. Jesse Palmer, the new host of The Bachelor, is 43 today. And Kate Winslet is 46. Happy birthday. Today's also National Be Nice Day, National Eat Fruit at Work Day. I don't know if y'all brought fruit. And, I did. Oh, good. And it's also World Teachers Day. So shout out to all of our teachers. Hey, teachers. You say it's Be Nice Day, too? We yeah. have to be nice to be people. Be nice. Okay, be nice, everybody. <laughs> be nice. Send a compliment. It feels good to give random strangers compliments. Sure. Like, if you see a person, like... A I, oh, dude, that that shirt is cool. Just JC, that shirt change is your day. that shirt is cool. It's it's a greenish army green, and it's it's not too too small. It so it looks really good. Well. It looks yeah, it looks very nice. Thanks, Al. JC, that sweatshirt you wear every day is also <laughs> really good. <laughs> I looked at it this morning. I'm like, I've had this thing probably ten years. Is it time? <laughs> no. I came back from Mexico earlier to buy this at a Miley Cyrus concert. My my Mollywood yeah. sweatshirt. Now, that hat. Yeah. Thank you for wearing that hat thank so you. I can see you in the dark. Thank you. My yes. orange hat, yeah. Yes. Thank you. Looking like a cone. Because otherwise he wouldn't <laughs> see you in the dark. <laughs> oh, no. Yikes. No. Yikes. We all caught it. No. We all caught it. Wow. No. Well, every gonna, single one of us. I wasn't, gonna, I wasn't gonna shine a light Trey? on it, but if Kelly pointed out, I'm wow. going with the Shots bright fired. orange. Wow. Head to fired. Twitter right wow. now for the JC is over party. No. <laughs> You're gonna do that to me. I was going with the brightness wow. of that. Now, I will go to that cake tasting. <laughs> the JC is over party. All right, so which late night host regrets? <laughs> Not saying something that insensitive, <laughs> but the success of their signature celebrity interview bit. And Nick Cannon's back talking about that time he dated Kim Kardashian. In oh. case you forgot, he's going to remind mm -hmm. you. Because he has a talk show. He's got a fill up. We'll tell you about that when we come back. And that means we'll be right back after this. The Kid Craddock Morning Show. Hi, my name is Joe, and I'm a home decor overspender. Hi, Joe. I made a breakthrough. I found HomeSense. It's unreal. So many brand name sofas. I bought one. Oh, wow, really? It's okay. The price is so low. Lighting, unexpected. Rugs, handcrafted. Wall art, eclectic. I go back like every week. <gasps> no, it's always different. New unique decor. Same great savings every time you go. Field trip. HomeSense. Standout pieces, outstanding prices. You will solve the great mystery. Streaming only on Peacock. This is Robert Langdon. The suspect called him. I teach symbology. He wants me to locate an ancient portal buried within the capital. From the author of The Da Vinci Code and Angels and Demons. It's your dad. The people who took him want me to find a piece of a very old puzzle. And executive producers Ron Howard and Brian Grazer. We have to finish this or my dad is dead. Dan Brown's The Lost Symbol. Streaming now with new episodes every Thursday. Only on Peacock.